Zin Zin Zin, A Violin by Lloyd Moss, illustrated by Marjorie Priceman. With mournful moan and silken tone, itself alone comes one trombone. Gliding, sliding, high notes go low. One trombone is playing solo. Next, a trumpet comes along and sings and stings its swinging song. It joins trombone no more alone. And one and two o, oh, they're a duo. Fine French horn, its valves all oiled, bright and brassy, loops all coiled. Golden yellow joins its fellows, two now three o, oh, what a trio. Now a mellow friend. The cello, neck extended, bows a hello. End pin set upon the floor. It makes up a quartet. That's four. And soaring high and moving in with zin zin zin, a violin. Stroking strings that come alive. Now quintet. Let's count them. Five. Flute that sends our soul a shiver. Flute that slender silver sliver. A place among the set it picks to make a young sextet. That's six. With steely keys that softly click, its breezy notes so darkly slick. A sleek black woody clarinet is number seven, now septet. Gleeful bleeding, sobbing, pleading, through its throbbing double reading. Oboe, please don't hesitate. Come, make it an octet. That's eight. That lazy clown, the big bassoon, he plays low, we're laughing soon. Here, grumpy, get your place in line and give us a nonnet. That's nine. The harp descends with angel's wings, a heaven's blend through magic strings. And when it joins the others, then, behold, a chamber group of ten. The orchestra comes in the hall. They're on the stage. We see them all. The cello, harp, and clarinet. The trumpet, who we've also met. The oboe, flute, and big bassoon, all eager to get started soon. Trombone, French horn, and violin, all poised and ready, now begin. The strings all soar, the reeds implore, the brasses roar with notes galore. It's music that we all adore, it's what we go to concerts for. The minutes fly, the music ends, and so goodbye to our new friends. But when they've bowed and left the floor, if we clap loud and shout encore, they may come out and play once more. And that would give us great delight before we say a late good night.